this is another beautiful day child of god that the lord has made heaven's reality again a beautiful day hallelujah we are going to go through our devotions this morning and we have been talking extensively about the benefits of the glory of god yesterday we touched on the benefits of the glory of god from the perspective of exodus 33 and verse 18 where moses cried and said lord show me your glory and then the lord said i will cause my goodness to go before you i will cause my mercy to go before you i will cause my grace to go before you and in you shall my name be magnified so we talked about that aspect of the glory of god which is the goodness the grace the mercy and the name then the name of the lord magnified in our lives today we are going to focus on the last piece of the benefits of the glory of god in our lives and that is acceptance the glory of god brings us into that place of acceptance that place of acknowledgement that place of recognition that place of vindication in the book of isaiah 60 from verses 1 to 3 we are going to read quickly it says arise and shine isaiah 60 Isaiah 60, from verse 1 to 3. It says, Arise and shine. He says, For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. He said, But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. He said, The Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall shall be seen upon thee and when this happens verse 3 now says and gentiles shall be drawn to your light and kings to the brightness of your shining many of us are going through a rejection phase of our lives and it's common because it happens to most of us and sometimes we try to justify this process by doing things that we don't actually want to willingly do in the sense of you know um bending low to have for, for others to have seen in our lives for others to control our measures of living because we want to be acceptable so we have lived in a system where we consistently live in a plead zone where we are compromising our work with god because we want to be accepted child of god god never designed us to be that way in the book of first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 it says for we are a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people you see we have been called out of darkness into the marvelous light of god Amen. He said to show for the praise of him who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light of God. To show for the praise of him who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light of God. Child of God, you must understand that you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. And for you to really walk in this, it takes the glory of God. He says your glory has come. And when your glory comes, you will be acceptable, accepted. Many of us face rejections because there is no glory. Many of us apply for things and we face rejections because there is no glory. When the glory of God comes in your life, even in that job application, you'll be accepted. Because the glory of God comes with the mercy of God. The glory of God comes with the grace of God. The glory of God comes with the goodness of God. It supersedes everything. You are accepted all around. This morning, Many of us are struggling with acceptance. It can be even acceptance from our spouse. It can be even acceptance from our children. It can even be acceptance from our family, loved ones, and brothers and relatives and brethren. Even acceptance in our communities. Even acceptance in our job places. It takes the glory of God. When the glory of God begins to radiate in your life, men will have no choice but to be attracted to you. A good example can be found in the life of David. The Bible says something about David. That David was so, so, so full of glory. That even when Saul was chasing David, men were after David. Amen. In fact, it was so beautiful in the life of David. I think if you look at, you'll find that in 1 Samuel 21. In 1 Samuel 21, you see good examples of places where 
sorry, first Samuel 22, first Samuel 22 and verse 2. First Samuel 22 and verse 2. You can see where the Bible talks about David. We we'll quickly look at that. When men were attracted to him because of the glory, the glory causes men to be pulled to you. First Samuel 22. First Samuel 22 and verse 2. It says, and everyone that was distressed, and everyone that was in debt, and everyone that was in discontented, gathered themselves unto him, unto David, and he became a captain over them. And they were with him about 400 men. That's talking about the men excluding women and children. That's what the glory of God does. He brings that acceptance. He brings that acceptance. He brings that acceptance. He brings that acceptance in our lives. We must look for the glory of God at all times. We must seek the glory of God at all times. We must desire the glory of God at all times. Hallelujah. It's very important, child of God, that we are hungry for these things. The Bible talks about someone in scripture. Um, it's been a while since I read that scripture, but it talks about, um, I think it talks about Jehoshaphat. Uh, where Jehoshaphat was greatly accepted by the people. I've forgotten that scripture, but it's in some, somewhere in Chronicles, Second Chronicles 20, where he was greatly accepted. It was the glory of God in his life. It was the glory of the Lord in his life. Child of God, the glory of God makes you to be accepted. Places where you have been rejected before, the glory of God makes you to be accepted. You look at the life of David, 1 Samuel 22, 2, Isaiah 60, 1 to 3. He talks about acceptance. He talks about acceptance. That's the power of the glory of God. The power of the glory of God. It makes men accept you. It makes men receive you. It makes men acknowledge you. It makes men acknowledge you. It makes men recognize you. For you to be recognized, it takes the glory of God. It's the glory of God that causes men to be recognized. Amen. The Bible talks about Esther. The Bible says the glory of God was upon her that when the virgins began to move, right, pass through the king, Artaxerxes, when they were passing by him, she was attractable. The king's eyes focused on her. It was the glory of God. It was the glory of God. It was the glory of God that made Daniel to be accepted by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. He stood out from amongst them. In fact, when you read Daniel chapter 1 verse 9, Daniel chapter 1 verse 9, it says, And Daniel walked into favor and loving kindness before the prince of the Unum. It was the glory of God. The glory of the Lord is what made him different. It was the glory of God that separated him from amongst them. Amen. The glory of God is important, child of God. If we must stand out, if we must be recognized, if we must be accepted, if we must be acknowledged, it is the glory of God. We are going to pray this morning, child of God. And you are going to cry to God, Oh Lord, let your glory fall on me. I want to be relevant. I want to be acceptable. I want to be accepted. I want to be acknowledged. Let your glory... Some of you have been working in a certain job for years and never have you gotten a bonus from your boss. Many of you have been working a job for years and never have you had any promotions. It is the glory of God that does things like this. You are going to pray this morning, Lord, let your glory fall on me. That men will recognize my work. That men will recognize my work. In fact, in Matthew chapter 5, quickly, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16, it says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And glorify your Father in heaven. For your good deeds to be revealed, it takes the glory. So it's a cycle. And when your glory is there, good deeds will be revealed. And men will recognize you. Amen. So you need the glory of God. For men to see your good deeds. For men to recognize you, you need the glory of God. And that way, they will even glorify your Father in heaven. So we are going to pray this morning. Oh Lord, let your glory fall on me. Man, take a batter. I want to be accepted. I want to be acknowledged. I want to be recognized. Lord, 
Let your glory fall on my life. In the name of Jesus. Man take rada borahandish. Adino kaparaguan bamba bai. Ribobo subaba indi kaparanyan kantai. Zunde dera igradiko rahuga bandi zagrande kai. Lord, let your glory fall on my life. That I will be accepted. That I will be accepted. That I will be accepted. That I will be acknowledged. In tekubambara hindas. Rakusta paparandi ki. Agrado barina igrede gazus. Liko prede paragazan gradigas. As I go out through this day. Lord, let your glory fall on my life. That I will be accepted. That I will be accepted as I apply for this job. Lord, let your glory fall on my life. That I will be accepted in tapara busta panda ye libom rega shabuda in kanda granda gavan zakrinas li grando paragaze gride ganzus araba gini mamunda dia li parabagunda kai in the name of Jesus we pray amen child of God have a blessed weekend and see you at the altar of prayer Monday morning 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 12 noon African and European Time. God bless you. Bye-bye.